In this video, we are going to solve problem 2-94 from R.C. Hebeler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the chandelier is supported by three chains which are concurrent at point O. If the resultant force at O has a magnitude of 130 LB and is directed along the negative Z axis, remind the force in each chain. To solve this problem, first of all, we have to find the coordinates of each contact point. For coordinates, coordinates of point O are 0, 0, 6 feet. Coordinates of point A are now point A is directed from the center to this point for the coordinates of point A I have to resolve this vector along y and x axis because it is just lying on the xy plane parallel to x-axis and parallel to y-axis now to find these components I have to know this angle right here now this angle can easily be found out like we have y and x-axis right here and since these two are perpendicular axes, so I know that this theta is nothing but 120 degrees minus 90 degrees equal 30 degree. So our this angle is 30 degrees. Also I know this length from this contact point to this point A which is 4 feet because it is a circular ring so let's call this point O dash so O dash A is equal to 4 feet so I can write it as for the x coordinate I have 4 cos 30 degree comma now the y coordinate is directed in the negative sense so I have 4 negative sine 30 degree comma 0 fit I can also write it as negative 3.46 i comma negative 2j comma 0 Let's remove it. In fits, also I have the point B. Again, if I extend this x vector. To the opposite side like this I have vector directed from O dash to B now I have to resolve this vector I have this component and this component For point B, again this angle is 30 degree. 
because this is nothing but the negative x axis so i have negative 4 cos 30 comma negative 4 sin 30 comma 0 fit also we did, can be written as negative 3.46 comma negative 2 comma 0 fit also for the point c i have 0 comma 4 comma 0 because it has no component along x and z axis these are the coordinates these will help us to solve our problem now i have to solve for these forces fa fb and fc let's say for fa i have to resolve this force fa into the cartesian vector form or fa we know that the vector has a direction and a magnitude so fa force equal its magnitude and its direction but we are going to replace this direction by the unit vector u u o a it's equals to position vector from r o a divided by its magnitude so first of all we have to find this unit vector the so unit vector o a equal coordinates of point a minus coordinates of point o we have 3.46 i minus 2 j minus 6 k divided by your magnitude 3.46 square plus negative 2 square plus negative 6 square the u o a is equal to 0.48 i minus 0 0.277 j minus 0 0.83 k now for fa in cartesian vector form i'm going to multiply it with this fa so fa vector equal to 0 0.48 F A I minus zero point two seven seven F A J minus zero point eight three F A K. Now for the force F B, again same technique. For FB, FB equals FB, which means its magnitude times unit vector OB. Unit vector OB equals coordinates of point B minus coordinates of point O. We have negative. 3.46 i minus 2 j minus 6 k divided by its magnitude negative 3.46 square plus negative 2 square plus negative 6 square so u o b equals negative 0.48 i minus 0 
j minus 0.83 k so f b vector is equal to negative 0.48 FBI minus 0.277 FBJ minus 0.83 FBK Now for the third force FC FC equals FC and its magnitude, sorry, its direction from unit vector to OC. To OC equal coordinate of point C minus coordinates of point O. We have zero I. Zero, then we have four j minus six k divided by its magnitude four square plus negative six whole square. So we have zero point five five j minus 0 0.83 k to OC FC equal 0 0.55 FC J minus 0 0.83 FC K now we have resolved all the forces into Cartesian vector form so now to find the each force we have to sum them up now fr equal fr equal f1 not f1 fa plus fb plus fc now we know one thing from the question that the resultant x only in the z axis so we can write here as since fr only exists in z axis so r component x component of resultant force and y component of resultant force equal 0 So I can write it here as Rx equals 0. Now I can sum up all the x components. So from starting from the force A, I have 0 0.48 FAI. Then from the force B, I have negative 0 0.48 FB. I since we specified our axis so we are going to remove this I now I have nothing in the X component in FC force so it's 0 equal 0 now 0 0.48 FA equal 0 0.48 FB so from here F A equal F B similarly at, I can also write it R Y equals 0 now all the Y components of these three forces we have negative 0 0.277 F A J came right here have negative 0 0.277 FA minus 0 0.277 FB and positive 
zero point five five F C equal zero since F A equal F B so it's going to be zero point two seven seven F B minus zero point two seven seven F B plus zero point five five F C from here F B equal F C mathematically we have evaluated one thing that F A equal F B equal F C and I can write it as journal as F but our resultant exists in Z direction so we have R Z not equal to zero now I have to sum up all the Z component F A F B F C negative zero point eight three F A negative zero point eight three F same here F minus zero point eight three F equal now resultant is one thirty LB in the negative direction. So I have negative one thirty. Now from here three zero point eight three F equals negative one thirty. So F equal fifty two point two LB. These are the forces generated in the three chains FA, FB, and FC. So each chain has a force of 52.2 LB. So you can write it in the final as FA, FB, FC equal 52.2, 52.2, 52 LB, LB, LB. This is the answer of this problem. I hope you will find this solution helpful. If you do, please feel free to subscribe this channel and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates. Thank you.